Hi, I'm Nina. Welcome back, or it's nice to meet you. We're playing Sherlock Holmes today. I hate doing long intros, so let's get into it. All right, we're back with very swaggy Sherlock. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we need to do? I feel like it's been a minute. Uh, back to Cordona. I spent one night at Il Palazzo del Luso and fell into a criminal investigation. That's not how I imagined my time on Cordona, but the thrill of the case helped to distract me from darker thoughts. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End. There is a figure of a crying angel on Mother's tombstone. Okay, I guess we're going to the cemetery? My imaginary friend John. John has been my friend since childhood. I cannot remember a time without him. He cannot accept that only I can see him. I wish I saw this last week because I think I made a comment about how John was like a ghost. And then they made a, made a reference to him not knowing what mortality was. So maybe that is what it is. I've also been calling him Watson this whole time. Maybe that's not even his last name. Maybe he's just John and I was assuming uh, okay, interesting that we can only see him. Nobody else can. Where is the cemetery? Hello. Can I talk to anybody out here? This is really pretty, though. Um, do you know where the cemetery is? A free is? ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Oh, maybe that's how we get there. That makes sense. <laughs> Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. Okay. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Concentrate. Does that mean to do this? I don't know what he means by concentrate. But there was supposed to be an angel statue, so maybe that's what I'm looking for. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Oh, I probably have to pin the information. Um, so where is that? Remembering the funeral. John asked if I remembered my mother's funeral. I don't, but I can try to recall something. Okay, so it is pinned. Hmm. I don't know if anyone here can answer my questions. I doubt it, but... It doesn't even look like I can talk to people. Oh no! How am I supposed to interrogate people and ruin their days with all my questioning? Is this it? Hold on. There's a statue. There's a statue. Jump, Sherlock. Oh, oh my gosh, he scared me! John, you can't just pop up out of nowhere. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. What does he mean by concentrate? I feel like I'm not understanding that. Maybe I need to go to that marker? <laughs> oh no. How am I already struggling? This is why it is the struggle bus, because I do be struggling all the time. <sighs> Where do I go? This is a really beautiful cemetery, though. If I had to struggle and get lost somewhere, this would be the place I pick. It's very pretty. Let me 
see it. Did I miss something? I don't have any deductions to make. This is the pinned thing. Oh, maybe now it's pinned. Okay. I can't tell because the pin is there. I thought it was already pinned. Does it need to be pinned? I don't know. May I ask you something? Your money doesn't impress me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I was just asking if you knew of my dead mother, but sure. Uh. Oh gosh, you scared me too. Who are you? Help me, please. Mr. Fancy Clothes won't find any answers here. I mean, his clothes are kind of fancy, but why is everybody bringing that up? You'll have something against rich kid Sherlock here. Excuse me, just one question. His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. So, before they tell me that they don't know anything, they gotta diss me first? May I ask you something? His Majesty came out of his palace. <laughs> he I stole the other guy's line, okay. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? What? Can I dress different? Wardrobe? I can get dressed differently? Oh, okay. Do I have to get in disguise? Hold on. Sherlock's suit. No hat. Can I just take the suit off? Oh, probably not PG-13 if I do that. Um... Modesty is my middle name. <laughs> no accessories. No facial hair. No makeup. Why did they make him so pretty? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> this game has no chill. Uh, John's wearing that. Well, what do I do? I'm not sure. Can I not change his clothes? Can't click any of these. Oh no. What do I what do I do? Help. Let's do help. Disguises. Sherlock must sometimes wear a disguise to proceed with an investigation. When evidence in the casebook is marked with this icon. Oh, okay. When access is blocked by someone who doesn't like your look. When making an when making inquiries, but bystanders aren't willing to talk. Visit a clothing trader to get the outfit you need. This is their map icon. So I need to go shopping first. Oh lordy, I am ready. Let's go, let's go get some clothes. How do I do that? I, sorry, sorry, Sherry, didn't mean to do that to you. Okay, that one was not even that far of a fall. You did not need to be dramatic. Okay, so we're looking for a clothing shop. That's the cemetery. I don't see anything with like a clothing thing. Like these places seem very far away. Okay, well now I'm just confused. Okay. <laughs> this one isn't even marked with the clothing icon. So, what is the- what is the- what? Okay. Um, very confused. Place on map, maybe? I can try to recall my mother's funeral. So we're- Okay. I wish I got a little bit more of a hint of what I was supposed to do. He said concentrate. What does that mean? What is this? Oh my. 
I swear, did I just walk all the way across just for this thing to be right here at the beginning? Okay. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. I get it now. I don't know how to play the game, and that is the problem. <laughs> Mycroft and I had to leave for London just after the funeral. I'm so sorry if you can hear my cat scratching next to me. He's trying to get comfortable. Okay, so... Then what? I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Okay... <laughs> oh, we gotta follow baby Sherlock, is that what we're doing? <laughs> the service the was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. Okay, let's go this way. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. But I thought you just said I remembered everything. And I'm sure it will come back to you. So now the gate can magically open because I have the power of memory on my side. Alright, let's go. <laughs> The sad thing is, like, I knew this is what I needed to do. I saw the statue. Why couldn't I have just done it? But I get it. We need to know the story. <sighs> I'm frustrated with myself, not the game. <laughs> A pocket watch? It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Hmm. I don't know. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. Got... what else? It seems like it's trying to do something. There's the pocket watch. Got a VH on it. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Hmm. I keep seeing like it's doing a thing right here, but it keeps going away. Hold to inspect. Confused. Got candles. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? <laughs> this is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? The Are you not sass. in the slightest bit interested? Alright. Who put that there? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? I feel like that's not in Sherlock's nature to just let the mystery be. Okay, so let's see this one. Mysterious visitor. Someone lit the candle and left a pocket watch on my mother's grave. The pocket watch belonged to my mother and shows no sign of exposure to the elements. The candle was lit no more than half an hour ago. All right, we'll pin that. Let's see if maybe somebody in here saw a person. Oh, but they won't talk to me because I'm snooty and fancy. Right? Help me, please. A man like you should not speak to a man like me. <sighs> okay. 
Well, maybe we need to go somewhere else then, because it's got like a little location marker. So maybe that's what that means. Are we supposed to go... Well, I guess... Is that where we're supposed to go? Oh, I... Place on map. I'm assuming that's the place on the map. John's still hanging out here, so maybe I'm missing something. This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery ha, be? Ha 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 ha! Found it. Brand new shoes. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. Fashionable. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. How can you tell how tall he is by his shoes? Like, what if he just has really abnormally sized feet for his height. Alright. A man wearing shoes approximately five and a half feet tall. So then, do we need to look for other clues? Or are we Gucci to go? What is that? You were about to tell me to make a model of Tyre, but let me assure you, I do not <laughs> I do yeah. not care. Oh, it's going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. You got all the evidence? Oh, dang, okay. See, now we have a little green marker. Look at that. I love when the game tells you where to go. Where'd it go, though? Oh no, the green marker was there and now it's gone. Um... <laughs> Maybe I went the wrong way. Where did John go? I need someone to hold my hand. All right, there we go. Now the the green thing is back. Does that just mean this? Okay, then I'm confused. We found the bicycle trail, so why would we not follow the bicycle trail? Bicycle trail. Where's the bicycle trail? Where else did it go? Is this is this it? Oh oh, I see it. Wait, I just saw the bike. Where did it go? Ah! There you are. I just hate this view because you can't sprint in concentration mode because I guess that would make it very hard to concentrate if you were running really fast. There, the bike, bike, bike. Okay. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. It's stained with oil paint. Oil paint? It keeps turning yellow. Oh, there we go. What is this? I, I can't... Oh. <laughs> I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. Hmm. What is this? The hospital equipped. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think I he'd mean, paint my portrait? There was the tree in the picture, so I would assume that that's where that is. Okay. Are we done looking at this, though? I feel like I keep walking away before I find everything. Because I'm solving it in my head. Was that a person? Oh, it's just a log. Okay. I really thought that was the... A body. Hello? Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Ah, Be I remember nice him. Cool. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. 
Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh, we're getting oh straight my. to it. Okay. It's quite something to oh witness my. those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I. I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Why otherwise is he trying to start drama? No, no, you'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She I spoke too soon. Away. I said I liked him, but he's she stirring has. the pot and well, I don't like that. I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. I know. Mm. Sherlock needs some Whatever time to I process need, all that. Here. What? We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. The archives at the City Hall Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. All right. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. Should, can we actually leave through here? Hang on. Let's see if we have to pin that now. Pin evidence. And then... There's a police investigation to my mother's death. So how do we get to the police station? I'm assuming that's what we have to do. We have to go maybe take the carriage buggy thing back. Hmm. Unsure. Looks like all the gates are closed too, which <laughs> makes me think we can't leave. Oh no, good, it opened. The other one was not opening for me. Oh, hello. May I ask you something? I'd rather bite a snake and talk to you. Wow. That is bold. Um, okay. So, oh, alright, we're gonna travel to where? Ridge. Is there anything that says police? Cordona Chronicle. Alright, let's maybe go there first? Because it said the police uh, station or the Chronicle could do this. Okay, so let's Night. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Cannot take this there? I'm so confused. Oh, hold to fast travel. But I can't fast travel to the this place. Do I have to walk there? Is he not gonna take me? Oh no. Okay. That's a shame. Maybe I'm picking the wrong place. I just don't understand why I... I'm gonna be an expert in this game by the end of it, I swear. City Hall. That's where we were. 
So we need to get there. I'm assuming we now have to walk because he won't take us there in the little cart. Police station. Let's go there then. I feel more confident about that anyways. I don't get it. I don't get why we can't take the little thingamabobby. We'll just sprint. We're faster on foot. <laughs> Because before I just clicked on the cart and it took me there, so why would I not be able to do the exact same thing? Oh, okay, so we're getting fast travel points now. Get, I got it. So maybe I have to first run there and then I can- But I didn't- Oh, there's a newsboy over here, hold on. Wait, you're not the newsboy. Who was the newsboy? I heard the newsboy. He said extra, extra. Excuse me, just one question. Oh, he's over there. I to talk to you, sir. If I'm talking to you, I feel like you could talk to me. There's the news boy. The cheapest news on the island. Ooh. Cordona Chronicle. The city can sleep soundly. Should I buy it? Do I have money? I mean, I guess so. I'm Sherlock, so... Thank you. Alright. Just bought the newspaper. I'm sure there's gotta be like side quests or something that I'm running past, but I do want to get to this police station. How do I get there? Is there a path? Well, can I just jump across? We can make it! <sighs> Alright. What's up? Sherlock's dressed too well to be someone sprinting through town. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me. Just like in his suit. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Oh, I just smacked her. Are you okay? Could you help me? Can't say I know. Okay, I'm so sorry. I just did that. I was- I was having a little too much fun with it. Okay. Excuse me, I will not slap anybody else. That was a crime. Oh my gosh, Sherlock. You can't just go slapping people. Okay. Alright, crowded street. Let me- Light jog, light jog. Alright. This is ridiculous. I, I swear, if you guys know I could have taken the buggy and I just didn't do it right and then you're gonna come in the comments and tell me I was doing it wrong, I'm going to cry. Cordona Police Station! Yay! Alright, we're here. It's here somewhere. Where is it? Which one looks like a police station? Can I just go into someone's house? Which one is the police station? Oh gosh, that lag though. Super laggy. That's the barber. Oh! <gasps> Sherlock, stop running into children! <laughs> Where is it? Is this it? Is this just the- is this the place? Is this it? Please be it. I traveled a long way to get here. Okay, you do look like an officer Stark of do the this. law. Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened? What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Can I help? I am Holmes, after all. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm, I'm quite really certain I am. I'm really just going to start talking to people with my hand up. Well, I see no time. harm in it. As long as it gets Logan out of there. 
In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. <laughs> All right. New case, the master of disguise. Exciting. All right, we're going to start our new case now. It uh, took me forever to get here, but we did it. And that's all that matters. The sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit, but my disguise skills may prove more effective. All right, um, let's go to King, oh, <laughs> Knights Road and Trinity Way. Knights Road and Trinity Way. Uh, what is John writing about? fan of the occult more got more than she bargained for after her visit to a spiritualist her own death oh this was in the newspaper i think that's probably what that is all right so we've got this pinned we're gonna go find the place um knight's road and trinity way knight's road and trinity way is that it Where's Knight's Road and Trinity Way? Knight's Road. Now where's Trinity Way? Oh, there's Thunder Road. <laughs> I don't see, oh, there's Trinity Way. Okay, Trinity Way and Knight's Road. So like literally right where we are. Perfect. Excuse me, just one question. A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Oh. Let's go see. I don't know where I am now. There are no street signs. Knights Road and Trinity Way. All right, let me put, can I put the marker right here? Boom. All right. There we go. That'll help me out because I am directionally challenged. Right. <gasps> Sherlock, if you punch one more kid, I'm going to throw a fit. Where, where do we go? Understand, I'm the one controlling him, but I've got other things to worry about. Can I ask you a question? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You should know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I'm I'm disappointing him so much. Okay. This is a really nice place. Oh, hi. I think I need a sketch I'm pleased from to you. meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Uh, what do you mean, let's do it? Let's do it differently. I don't know. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, Are we gonna play dress but they're not though? for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, <laughs> in your homes. <laughs> this is such a creative idea. All right, let's do it. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. He an was utter ugly, rascal, okay. if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more Ugly specific? and glasses. He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? All right. In the back. <laughs> I'm so excited. Honestly, my favorite part of a Sherlock's, Sherlock Holmes game... Sherlock's home game is... Uh, dressing up what can i do for you sherlock oh look at this old chap putting on airs like some italian doge why don't you disguise yourself as him instead 
We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. <laughs> All right, let's go. What's that? You'll hit dead ends with your investigations if you don't dress appropriately. Luckily, Sherlock has a penchant for disguise, so visit the wardrobe menu to change his outfit. Fantastic. Um... Uh, ooh, okay. Fake bruises. We can do light makeup. I do think he looks fabulous with that. Old man makeup. Wow, he's very talented. Um, she said he was ugly. I don't know if she... Did she mention the age? Honestly, I don't know now. Pencil mustache. Oh, not the sideburns. Oh, no. Sherlock, Sherlock, Sherlock. Okay. <laughs> Dave looked like an utter rascal. He was beaten up and wearing glasses. Gotcha. John suggested I surprise Mrs. Nini by impersonating the man in the painting before attempting to disguise myself as the thief. Oh, let's do that. Let's do top hat, sideburns, old man face. Top hat? Do we have one? No. Old man sideburns. Um. Yeah, we need a top hat. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go find a top hat. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Two wardrobe items acquired. I need a hat, though. Ooh, hats, hats. Okay, we got four hats. Oh, that is terrifying. That mannequin? Oh, that scared me. All right, what else do we got? This is gonna be fun. This is, this is so fun. Okay. Um, oh, was he wearing something specific? He's got, like, a little ascot, maybe? Uh, I don't know, actually. Police uniform? I can't tell what he's wearing in this. Maybe like that. Sure. Top hat. <laughs> ah! Sherlock's never looked better. Oh, gosh, sorry. I just threw the camera around. I didn't mean to do that. Make everybody dizzy. Do I, do I look like this? I don't think that I do. I feel like maybe I'm missing something. Let's just make sure we, we looked at everything in here. Because I don't have the fancy ascot scarf thingy. Let's see. Look at all that yarn. so close to Sherlock's back sometimes. <laughs> okay, I think maybe this will work. I have no idea. Honestly, no idea. I feel like it's not right because we don't have a scarf. Oh gosh, John, don't just pop John has up wears places. if you have coin. <laughs> There's nothing back here. Let's see if this works. Something isn't right. What do you mean something isn't right? I was told to dress up like this old man. Maybe it's a different... Oh, I can't... <laughs> I can't change clothes here. <laughs> what do you mean Sherlock can't change clothes in the middle of the room? We need to go back here. Modesty is key. <laughs> Is there a difference between these two? I feel like maybe I don't entirely know what I'm supposed to dress up as for that guy, but I, I no, guess. Signore. That hat is wrong. I told you it was a regular bowler. Oh, you did not say you that, though. You tell me it was a bowler. But I did. You ought to pay more attention, signore. Haha, -ha, so we got more. Um, all right, more clues. So now, turned out he was wearing a bowler. Good to know, good to know, good to know. 
Okay. Let's go back to the wardrobe. Bowler hat. Uh, glasses. I don't know what type of glasses. But he was beat up. So let's, uh... Oh, I don't know if he's got facial hair, but he was beat up. Hmm. No, no, no. Does he have facial hair? Bowler hat, glasses, and beat up. Isn't that all we know right now? Utter rascal. He was beaten up and was wearing glasses. Let's... Well, probably not those clothes, though. Probably that. Those are probably the... What did that say? Hold on, what is that called? Criminal chic. <laughs> Holds your pants up for you, keeping your hands free. <laughs> oh my gosh, the game has so much sass. Criminal chic. He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were uh, angular and evil looking. All right, I'll try another pair. Okay, so he wore the rectangle ones. Um, glasses, angular, square glasses. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face, <laughs> like a mustache. Yes, I feel like she's just making this up as she goes. The all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd Kay. say that not all villains wear mustaches, but I get your point, Mom. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. He was, he had an evil mustache. I know that for certain. Um, is it a pencil one? <laughs> pencil mustache. <sighs> oh yeah, we look evil now, for sure. <laughs> we needed some facial hair. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. He right. said he looked I like a rascal. A beige suit. A beige suit. Okay. Uh, is, is this beige? That's a white suit. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly beige suit. The worst suit in the game. Just awful. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> ah, it's you. I mean, it's him. It's him. Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yay. Oh no, I, I lost the challenge. I thought I did it, but I guess not. But we got a clothing trader now. But how did I, how did I lose that? Oh well. A little sad about that, but we got a portrait. Now that I have the thief's portrait, I can take it back to Constable Stark. All right, let's pin that. We're gonna go do that. I didn't get this right. Aw. I've decided I have better things to do. <laughs> sure, Sherlock, sure. I'm sure that you do. All right, uh, let's go back to the police station. All evidence collected. That was the best part of this game so far. If I could review it just on that alone, 10 out of 10. Which way was it? It was down this alleyway, and then I think I came from over here. Uh, not that door, this door over here. Aha! Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. 
What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Oh. Master of Disguise, case complete. All right, let's go to the archives. I'm assuming they're back here. This seems like a place for archives to be. Oh gosh, everyone looks, oh, you guys look fancy. That is a riveting conversation they're having. That guy over there is having the worst Monday of his life. Oh, I need a day off. Oh, yeah, I called it. Archive. I really like that Sherlock doesn't open the doors with his hands. He just, like, pushes his chest into it. <laughs> Ooh, police archive. Select evidence and three search criteria. Okay. Choose evidence. We can flip through. Um, oh, can I not get the... This is all about the thief. I don't want the thief anymore. I wanted to. All right, whatever. Um, subjects, baby. Victims. I'm very, very confused. Cause I thought I needed to do. Huh. I thought I was trying to do something with this. Interesting. I guess this is the one with the book, so we have to figure this out. But wouldn't this mean that this is what we're looking up? This is what we're trying to do, Vogel's story. So, would that not mean that when I look at this, I should be... There it is. Why does it show up now? This game stresses me out. All right, there we go. I was very confused because I thought we were trying to find out about Sherlock's mother, but then it kept showing the thief thing, and I don't know what I did to select this instead. But here we go. Uh, Werner Vogel is the man that left my mother's watch on her grave. Vogel claimed it was his way to return what already belonged to me. He also mentioned that there was a police investigation into my mother's death. I doubt that's true, but if they did, there would be something about it in the police archives. Ten years ago, we were living somewhere in Grand Surrey. Surrey? Surrey? Surrey. Which should help me narrow down the search. Okay, evidence, documentation, probably. Subjects, victims, maybe. Search. I'm making this game way harder than it needs to be. The police, the missing police files. All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled thusly, Case of Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grand Surrey. Grand Surrey? Surrey? Sur <laughs> it's been a long day. There are no documents inside at all. It seems that there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. Huh. Interesting. So, should we look at anything else? Everything's missing, so... Oh. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. We gotta find the house now. <laughs> um got missing records as our new clue missing police files and shattered memory 
just had a flash of memory, a policeman in front of our manor. But what, what he was, but what he, it's not me this time. It really says, but what he was doing there. <laughs> but what was he doing there? It's not my fault. Stonewood Manor must be located in Grand Serre. A I also had a glimpse of a bridge and a church on a hill. The manor must be somewhere nearby. Okay, so let's pin that. Holt Z zoo. Oh, we can zoom in on this. That's pretty cool. Um mm -mm -mm. place on map, maybe? I vaguely remember my home. All right, so let's see. Where would that be? Near the bridge and a church on a hill. All of these are bridges, so. A church, church on a hill. Is there anything that, is that a church? What is that? Well, that's where we're supposed to be. A bridge and a church. Maybe we should start here? Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should start at this bridge, I don't know. Or we could probably fast travel to here. Is that a church? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, let's just go here. This is a bridge. I'm sure we can find it. I don't see a church necessarily, unless that is the church, but there's no bridge here. Uh, okay. But it's definitely somewhere in this section. How hard could that be? Let's go. Okay. Oh. Are people in jail back here? Oh, I can go back into the jail. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting sidetracked, but hey, this is pretty cool. Oh, someone got beaten right there. That's disturbing. Uh, there's a lot of blood in this, uh... This area is restricted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love that I'm just walking back here, though. Gosh, this is really morbid. Alright. I will leave you to it, fellas. Okay, let's... Oh, um, he said to come back to him when I'm I was done. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. <sighs> Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, Ooh. except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Oh. Okay. Um, the mystery of my dead mother will have to wait. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. 
Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. All right. Aim and fire. Aiming activates slow motion and highlights objects you can shoot, but only for a limited time. To manually reload, press R. Okay. Oh. It's kind of like slow motion. Cool. Sorry. Proceed to the next room. Hooray! <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Yay! Come next on, Sherry. Room. It's just like in childhood. John. No one asked you to do that, but thank you. Um. <laughs> okay. What am I trying to shoot? I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Am I supposed to shoot something in here, or...? Oh! <laughs> There's little instructions behind my head, so... Um, here. <laughs> Left control to toggle between standing and crouching. To roll plus... Ooh! Heck yeah! Steady, Sherry. Steady. <laughs> Hold on. Um, Are we gonna roll start to go. finish? Okay. Roll! Roll! <laughs> my favorite mannequins sneaky, sneaky. for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Ain't the way you might take advantage of oh, 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 You could have killed the fella don't, if Sherry, he was alive. Don't have that much time. Let's move on. <laughs> was that not the point to kill them? <sighs> All right. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Shoot off the armor? Oh. <laughs> We have more armor. Hooray. Yeah. All right, let's move on, Sherry. <laughs> the little hooray is so funny. All right, onward. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Okay. Press Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably well, really bad. I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Yay! Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. <laughs> now, we'll <laughs> test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. Oh so, gosh, okay, I'm ready? I'm ready. Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried. <laughs> Not at all, I can right. hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Murder? Sherry, and remember, <laughs> the surroundings are your playground. Got it, thank you. It says, I know my face is over the text box here, but it says, murder is cruel and excessive. Try to arrest the enemy instead. Disorient your opponent, get in close to arrest them. Follow the cues promptly to immobilize your foe, but we are not allowed to murder because um, it's excessive and cruel. I can't promise I won't accidentally shoot this guy. I'm coming. Oh. Eh. Can I shoot that thing? I don't know why that would not be like murder if we to do that. Oh, it's back. I couldn't miss the party. Oh gosh, is he throwing knives at me? Excuse you, sir. Nothing. Ooh. Come on. Shoot, Sherry, shoot. Oh, shoot. Does that do anything? I guess the sparks hit him. 
overcome him. Don't. Oh. Oh, Sherlock. I'm sorry. All right, we got we got that, and then we're gonna toss on his we back. Were against murder. Oh no, I just murdered him. Uh oh. Stop! 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 What do you think you're doing? You could have injured the poor fella. I can't allow you to carry a gun if you'll only use it to kill. Your task is to detain. Don't forget that. Once again, without the brutal shootout this time. Okay, I'm Let's sorry. Over, it's just in the training you had me shoot those things, so I was confused. I didn't know it would kill him. Okay. Okay. Disorient and then get close and arrest them. Okay. Th easy. All right. No shoot. No shooting. We don't need to be like rootin' tootin' shootin' right now. Got it. I'm coming for you. Disorient. And then arrest. Ow. What the heck was that? What prompt? I'm what was coming. that prompt? I don't get it. Oh no! <laughs> I feel like I should stop shooting. <laughs> okay. Okay, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna I'm gonna disorient you right here. Come here. Boop, boop, boop. Disorient! Don't work this way. Oh gosh. Sherlock, why are you getting punched? Arrest! <laughs> I'm coming. Arrest! We can in first. I couldn't miss okay, the party. Right, come, over, come over here. There's like a wheel thingy over here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Disorient and then arrest. Ah! I'm coming. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Disorient. <laughs> arrest. <laughs> Don't bother moving. You've lost. A arrest! How do, how do I arrest? Arrest! No! Oh my gosh! Oh, he is arrested. This is a new guy. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't ready. I didn't know there were going to be more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Come on! Oh my gosh, Sherlock, aim. Snuff's ready. Boom! Yeah! No more crime. Okay, Give him okay, the pepper okay. snuff. Alright, so we got two arrested. I'm assuming they're already arrested. Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. I'll put you six feet under. Alright, oh no. It didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. Can I just arrest you here? Oh, <laughs> Okay, I I'm couldn't miss the party. People. Clearly, I'm having issues. Okay, okay, okay. Crouch. Come over here. Come up. Come here. Come, come this way. Oh no, I'm vulnerable. Come and get me. Come onto this side. I don't think I have anything on that side that would. Maybe? Maybe that thing. Oh, nope, that was not as close to him as I thought it was. Get ready for some pain. Ooh, I will not get ready for some pain. Over here. See, this is why murder should be okay. In some situations, it should work. Come here! <laughs> there are only so many things in the environment you can distract it with, though. Uh, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on. Come on. That. Can I shoot that? He's got a he's got a mask on. I, mean, I feel like that's bad for me to shoot him right in the face, but Can 
overcome the brute now. Ah, we can infer. Why can't I throw my, for you. my smoke stuff? Okay, shoot your hat off, you disoriented now because you don't have your hat. You're not looking so fabulous anymore. Bye! Arrested. Don't cry, you'll live. The snuff's ready. <laughs> oh, I can't move. Are we good? Oh, we're good. Okay. That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations <laughs> on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is Great. your certificate. Just no murdering on the street. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, yeah, it's yeah. now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Yeah, so we can now take our own certified case crime now. scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? I think Don't we know. Should. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. Okay, so there's. Oh, we can just pick these up off the board? Nice. A bandit lair has been marked on your map. Oh, does that mean that we can go beat people up and arrest them? I do think I want to go to this manor, though. Let's do that first. But we also have this other case if we want to do it. This is our first police case. The traitor spilled his beer on the sailor, and boy, that escalated quickly. What is, like, the... These are all test... There's the report. I was like, where is the actual thing? A sailor was stabbed to death in a fight at the Golden Eel Bar, which is located on Scarlet Street in the Old City, west of Sesame Street? Sesame Street got dark. <laughs> Suspects Brian McLee, soldier, Alec Kaplanidis, dock worker, and Selim Yunin, traitor. All suspects were detained. Case is pending further investigation. All right. I would like to go here first, though. So let's do that. I think I've already marked it on the map, too, so... Oh, it's night time. So even worse, if you see this coming at you at 40 miles an hour in the middle of the night. <laughs> Sherlock is booking it. Well, there's a church. Okay. Church by a bridge. Is that where we need to be? Hold on, let's see. Where are we? No, I guess it's gonna be further that way. Dang, but we did find a church, so maybe we haven't seen the church that the clue is in reference to yet. Up this way. I wish I not sprint so much. I need to fix my settings because it's a little laggy. Stonewood Manor. Ha ha! Okay, but where is it? Is the... Did I run past it or is that it? Oh gosh, I am so sorry, ladies. You look fabulous this evening. I am I apologize. Is this it? Maybe I gotta keep going. Oh that looks like it over there. I see it. I feel like it tells me that I've unlocked a location before I've actually noticed where I am. Okay, that's it. Well, I saw it a second ago. Right here. Hey, Sherry. There's post here. Is there really? It seems as if the letter was delivered recently. Well, I don't want to go through somebody else's mail. We don't live here anymore. 
Oh, no, that it's addressed to us, so I guess maybe it's not a crime. I don't know. Sherlock, I hope this letter does not reach you, for it would mean you have committed to your absurd flight of fancy. The past is the past. To extend, expend any more time and energy, retreating one's steps is, at best, childish indulgence, and at worst, pathological weakness. Consumption is an ugly end, and you were better off for not witnessing it, despite all your protestations. <clears throat> Excuse me. One presumes by now you have visited our mother's final resting place. I trust that has satisfied your impetuous pulses, pulses, impulses, and frees you to return to London at once. It is time to turn your back on what was and help to shape what could be. The nation needs you, Mycroft. Okay. After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Let's investigate our manor. That's the Mycroft I know. Predictable. Here we go. There she is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Sherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. Hmm. I want to go over here. Oh gosh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh gosh, what is, what is this? I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. Sherlock was a troubled child. <laughs> hey, that's Wooden this is Joe. Terrifying. He was always the best at playing criminals. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. Right. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass are very precious. Hmm. I mean, that's cute and all, but that dummy is really scary looking. <laughs> Should we just go inside? Look at the ash all over the door. I don't recall hearing of a fire. We don't have to stay here. You can afford another night or two at the hotel. Hmm. It's stuck. Oh well, let's just head back. They probably haven't even stripped our room yet. Come on. <clears throat> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier, perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Try to recall that memory about the policeman, Sherry. Concentrate. Concentrate, okay, so that means this. I'm gonna try not to walk away <laughs> too far because that's how I got stuck earlier. Alright, let's see. Concentrate. Are these just normal people? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> No, I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I was feeling so clever. I'm like, I got the hang of it. But no, okay. Memories. Um, case book. We got the letter and we have... John suggested I try to remember the full story about the policeman in front of our manor. Which is what I was trying to do. Mother died of tuberculosis. Okay. Can we connect these two at all? I guess not. Um, okay. In front of the house. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> I swear, I just want this to be right. Oh lordy. I'm gonna pin that. 
He said concentrate. A manner all to ourselves. Can you believe it, Sherry? All right, I'm just gonna run I around. Have so then. many ideas. I just didn't have a pin. The policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. Do you remember what it was? Let's see. Metallic shiny. I bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. Um. It was a set yeah. of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into someone's house. That's why we were arrested. <laughs> Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? Adult male Mycroft. family member. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. Okay. Mycroft wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Paper? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, oh that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world this deserves That's further investigation <laughs> that is Perhaps deep, there's more Sherry. to discover inside as long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up i'll be happy maybe a chaise long aha in we go oh this is really pretty home sweet home sherry one of the first things i saw when entering this house as a child it's like Deja vu. Auction notification. We have been instructed that a public auction will take place on 20th July at Stonewood Manor. All lots have been selected from the finest pieces of property owned by the Holmes family and have been evaluated by experts. Their authenticity is confirmed. And I was wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It is. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Find furniture traders across the island to acquire items for your manor. Oh, we live here now. Great. Um, I feel like that's not legal, but all right. There's stock updates frequently, so keep an eye on the map for notifications for new deliveries. Great. Wait, who lives here? Who like, is just wh what? I'm very confused as to why we can just live here now. I remember how angry Mycroft was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavor. Oh gosh, that mirror is creepy. What are we looking for, first of all? Okay, we got the auction notification. And that story we just revealed. The Tale of the Empty House. Soon after we left Cordona, some of our manor's furniture was sold at public auction. It seems unlikely, but perhaps we can locate what was lost among the wares of local traders. Oh, okay, so not necessarily to live here, but to, like, find clues? I'm very confused. Um, okay, so... It's just an extra story, so we can add to Sherlock's childhood? Is that what that is? Because it's not under cases. Um, let's see. 
I don't know if there's anything for us to do here. We've pretty much looked at all of those things. Hmm. Although now I'm kind of disappointed. I thought that John and Sherlock were just going to move in here and start furnishing Another the place. One. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Ooh, like what? Another one. There must Another be something one. important behind it. I can feel it. Maybe we have to... Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Really? Well, then what can we Another do? One. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Hmm, how do we get those open? Don't we have a gun now? <laughs> Can't we just shoot it open? I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago. Wait, do we have an attic here? Hmm, do we? Maybe that's what those doors lead to. An attic? Can't look at anything on this desk. Hmm. Alright, I guess let's go find some furniture then. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the house. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Okay. Maybe that's like how the door opened here. We need to unlock memories for him in order to open more doors. Let's see if I can find a furniture store. Furniture store, furniture store. Right there. Let's go, let's go there. The trader. Gosh, Sherlock hasn't slept. It's already morning again. There's the church. Found it. Uh, hold on, where are we? Oh, I'm way over there. Okay, let's just keep going <laughs> in that direction. I don't know why I thought I was so much closer than I actually am. Hi there. Hi. How do you do? Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Sherlock's legs must be swole. Did I go down too far? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is this it? Are you, are you the traitor? You'll never find such magnificent paintings anywhere else. Just take a look. Sorry, I have nothing to offer you at present. Really? You don't? Where's the... where's the... Tired of your garden view? Visit my shop and refresh it. My goods will brighten up your house. Okay. I've got a swing chair and a wooden bench. I don't think this is what we need. Although, I do think it would spruce up the house a bit. I do want this, so why not? It's only ten? Oh, yeah, let's get all of it then. Enjoy Bye. your purchase. Thank you. Alright. Where is the furniture shop, though? The auction place. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's up here and I got turned around. Maybe it's not! Ugh! 
I'm so confused. All right, I'm on Joy Avenue. Let's get to Bonanza Road. Let's uh, put the marker here. Oh no, it's both of them. Okay, both traders. I went to both of them, so I got the swing set. I'm very confused. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> that was it. I don't know why I was expecting like way fancier things for us to find. <laughs> Managed to retrieve all the items that were once in our front yard. Now that the space has been restored, I wonder if it will bring back some memories. Oh, that makes sense now. I totally get it. It took me a second, but I did it. All right, where's the... Yeah, can we fast travel? No, we cannot. Why not? Excuse you? I have to run all the way back? All right, get your steps in, Sherry. Let's go. <laughs> um, so this turned into less of a mystery game for this episode of the playthrough and more of dress up and shopping, which I honestly appreciate. <laughs> oh, and we did murder somebody. So it's a productive day, guys. not it. This way? <laughs> Founder Square. At least I found a new location. Getting lost trying to get back to the house. Is John just waiting there for us? He's so loyal. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I gotta go look at my swing set. Alright. Ha ha! The best place for reading. This is much nicer than the picture was at the store. Okay. Oh, the best place for reading. Is that it? That's all you can say about this? The are garden's much prettier, don't you think? I bet the memories are all flooding back now. Where did you come from? Are they? Well, there's a bench. Is this the bench I just bought? No, I bought a different bench. Are the memories flooding back? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, pin evidence. Let's see if this brings back memories. Can I... Oh, the best place for reading. I really thought that that's what this would do. Where's that bench? Oh, I think I bought this statue thing, too. My mother liked the story of David and Goliath. She said, it doesn't matter how small you are, you can always overcome any obstacle. Oh, that's so sweet. What else did I buy? I bought a bench and something else? Why does this barn give me such an unpleasant feeling? <laughs> oh, I know. It's because Mycroft oh. used an axe to shoo you out of here. It scarred you for life, but I enjoyed it. I didn't realize how short Sherlock was. I mean, no, we're on the same same level of ground. Wow. Um, nothing wrong with that. Shoot. You won't let me look at this bench. Oh, 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 but, 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 but. Yep. There we go. Wood fight. Ah, oh, yes. We were sword fighting in this very spot. And that oh. time, I was the winner. So, as your victory prize, you asked me to fulfill a wish. I remember we did something the very next night, John, but what was it? Something the very next night. We brought a cage with us. You insisted it must be made of iron. That's because we were preparing to hunt fairies in our garden. Everyone knows iron is the only thing that can hold them. And I was distinctly uncomfortable. 
<laughs> it was a disguise, of course. Fairies are easy to scare off, unless you're They're incognito. They're so cute. And every trap needs bait. Okay, tasty liquid. We brought honey and a glass of warm milk. After two hours lying in wait, we noticed movement in the bushes. The fairies appeared at last. What are you doing, John? No, it was just Isolde the pig. She was lured by the smell of honey and milk and ate every last drop. Isolde belonged to Mr. Sim in Miner's End and escaped regularly. At least twice a month we would see him searching for her all over the island. When pigs fly, one marvelous evening I defeated Sherry in a sword fight, a rare accomplishment. As my prize, I made him join me on a fairy hunt. Sherlock didn't like my didn't share my enthusiasm and he pretended not to believe in fairies, but I knew exactly what to do. We disguised ourselves, found an iron cage big enough to capture a sprite, and laid out warm milk and honey as bait. And it worked. After two hours lying in wait, we spotted movement in the bushes. The fairies had appeared at last. Or that's what I thought. Alas, it was just Isolde the pig, who had caught a whiff of the milk and honey. She gobbled up every last drop, then fled as fast as she came. Isolde belonged to Mr. Sim in Miner's End, and oh, but she would always get free. At least twice a month, she's, we'd see him, him wandering Cordona to find her. She would turn up in impossible places, so perhaps in some ways she was a little bit magic too. That's so cute. Oh, all right, let's see what other memories we can find. I hey, guess. is anybody at home? Hello? What? what are you looking at? See, there's nothing by this bench. Why did I get this swing? Am I maybe supposed to go all the way around? Is there something back here I missed? I think that it was just, yeah, this is just a memory thing. Oh, is this done? It doesn't have, like, a thing by it. I'm not sure. Was that it? I think I've walked across the whole yard and haven't gotten a little circle thing. Mycroft's umbrella. The only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange. I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. But the only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Does that help us? It's raining that morning. I wonder if that triggered something. I still think this is an important bench and it won't do anything. Um, mother's love. So now I got something here. John asked me to remember our first day on Cordona. We arrived early in the morning. It was raining. Okay, so let's see if we can find anything about that. There we go. All right. Well, clearly I should have done this earlier. I guess I missed the umbrella when I came in the first time. It was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering, or is it my imagination? It is. Let's see. 
Oh my gosh, we get to be John. Amazing. Um, what do we think? Who goes here? I don't know, actually. He said this wasn't wasn't my Croft's hat, so. Probably. I could, I could see that. Uh, oh, I don't know actually who is in the bags. Uh, that update? You're not even trying, Sherry. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, is that it, those three spots? So maybe this needs to change. Let's see. I feel like he was saying Sherlock was saying he was helping. And then I don't remember if he said Mycroft was here. Your neighbors I already will be told forgotten. that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, mother. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. Arriving at Cordona, we arrived in the early morning of a rainy day. Sherry's mother was weak and unsteady, so he tried to help her. Mycroft was very serious while dealing with luggage. When he saw Sherlock trying to help his mother up, he commanded him to go upstairs to our room. The last person to arrive was the doctor, Otto Richter, who said that the neighbors will believe that Violet has tuberculosis. Sherry just realized that he never heard her coughing. Oof. Oh, I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, John no. are you alright? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? I'm worried. Oh no, that didn't look good. And if anything happens to John, I will throw a fit. Oh no. Okay, where's our room? Our room? Let's do it, Sherlock. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Well, maybe it's down here. Hold on. I didn't look over here. Did I? I don't think that I did. I don't think I've been in here. This is a cool place. Okay, so upstairs to their room, because that's where Mycroft told them to go. Which one's their room? Oh gosh. Look at this. It's like traveling ten years into the past. <laughs> he still scares step. me when he pops up somewhere. Oddly satisfying. Huh. Well. Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. <laughs> Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Cute. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this place. Well, so he never played violin. Alright, let's see. The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. 
So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. Only Sherlock would think that's fun. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. What's that over there? I don't know. Is it a doorknob or a key? This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. Right. A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You mean oh, for spying John on poses people. himself on the beds. Even like the last case, he was just th like throwing himself across the the sheets and <laughs> oh, oh, <it laughs> he's got to look good at all times. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? I want to play as baby Sherlock. I think that would be fun. <laughs> um, oh, Mind Palace? It said we can do something there. Got more memories, so that whole thing we did downstairs. Uh, my mind palace seems to have seeped into the real world and is preventing access to some rooms. I think I'll be able to get inside if I remember more. John proposed that we find our bedroom. I think it was somewhere upstairs. Okay, so that's where we are right now, isn't it? A dusty wooden handle with an intricate cross-shaped end that looks like a key. That is our important thing right now. John remembered that we had hidden treasure somewhere in our room and he dares me to find it. Oh, we should also look for that. All right, let's see. Friendly neighbor, imaginary friend John, missing records. No tuberculosis and mother died of tuberculosis. So, Mycroft lied. Mycroft hid the truth about the death of our mother and lied when he told me that she died of tuberculosis. All right, let's go back to our clues. Friendly neighbor. I don't think any of these match up together. Maybe we can just go ahead and give it a go, but. Oh, they do match up. Let's see. The family friend. While there are no records about my mother's death, we had a family friend on Cordona. He may know something. Cool. Good, good, good. Uh, oh, let's go back. Case book. Looking for a family friend. There are no records about my mother's death, but I do recall an old family friend we had here in Cordona, an eccentric man named Theodore Gilden. He was missing the little finger on his right hand, and if he still lives here, he may be able to shed some light on her passing. He used to live in one of the neighboring houses near the Greek Bridge, and he had a gas, he had a gas balloon in his yard. Cool. So I'm assuming we might need to go to... Oh, I guess we'll go to that house. I was thinking we go to the police station and see if there's any information about him. But if we know he lives near Greek Wasn't Bridge, that neighbor then missing a we'll finger. That. that does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name uh, Theodore? Theodore Gilden, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. Ooh. Okay, well, this thing is shining, so let's look at that. Cross-shaped. Yeah, that was easy. Found it. Perfect match. Woohoo! My small there archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. <laughs> Still has a faint odor of tobacco. One of the few things on this island that smelled like home. Still has a faint odor of tobacco. One of the few things on this island that smelled like home. Is there anything else on it? Or is that it? Oh, oh, there's something Made there. of cherry wood. Father's favorite. Ooh. A small, straight smoking pipe made of cherry wood. Okay. I knew you'd find it in no time. <laughs> oh, we actually won Chance Challenge. I'm so glad because the, the last one we did not. All right. Um, sorry. Uh, diary. We've got the pipe. We've got... Found the item and won the game. Fantastic. I think this is our next mission here, is looking for the family friend. 
I'm very excited to meet Theodore and see what other clues we can find to piece this all together and open up the other doors in the manor. But uh, we'll save that for next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you had a good time, like, subscribe, do all the things down there that you know how to do. Hug your pets for me and I'll see you very soon. Bye.